want to take this All that. order. There we go. Archangels. Come on. You guys you guys should understand this a little better than Send it up. They'll get there. Like you are, yeah. The dude, the fins are about to get the fins are gonna beat beat us there. Yeah. So let's just click execute again just in case. Yeah, so hopefully we're getting better supplies now that the fins have advanced. We are across the Urals. We are officially across the Urals. We are closing in on uh, Shelyabinsk, which is probably one of their last industrial cities. We've taken so many of their resources at this point now, yeah. too. This has this region has eight factory slots, so we're gonna we're gonna further decrease their ability to fight. Uh, I don't know why we keep losing frontage. The Finns are advancing so fast that we can't even <laughs> keep contiguous frontage. Yeah. Well, the the Finns are about to take Archangel, so yeah. They've cut off these factories on this peninsula here. Ekaterinburg. We're on the outskirts. We've got Marines. Which, which we will need ne We will need in 1944. Get better landing craft, for sure. Wait, why have it, hasn't our stability, yeah, our stability upgraded? Stability modifier might have glitched right up. I don't know. We'll see. If we get up to 300, we can just start spending it. Ex exactly. We'll, we'll stay above 150. All right. We're on. just going to need the factory shit back. Yeah. Gotta take Archangelsk. We don't have supplies. Wait, can we extend our front into Finland? Oh, we can. That'll help. That'll distribute forces out a little bit. All right, Rommel. It's it's bogged. Like the the yeah. offensive everywhere is bogged. Our supplies across the Urals. Our supply situation is yeah. so toxic, it's, though. It's November. Uh, we're we're hurting. Yeah, we're freezing to death here. I think our army is probably better equipped. I, I doubt we're losing that many people to Yeah, cold. I mean, we do have good field hospitals on most of our divisions, so that that's definitely helping. I'm shocked they haven't capitulated, to be honest. Yeah, they've got to be at like 95% by this point. 94%. The fall of Archangel should just about do it, I yeah. would think. Yeah... I don't know what the fins are waiting on. Right. Oh, did you hear that machine gun fire? Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. I love the sound design in this game. They actually, I believe, recorded real weapons uh, for some of these, which is, which is pretty badass. Yeah, there's shenanigans going on with our convoys, but as long as all these numbers are green, we're okay. Taking Romania was actually something we might have needed to do. Oh, yeah. Not just a fun Those little... oil fields were critical. That was definitely a politically necessary war. You're welcome! Yes. <laughs> My idea! <laughs> that was, uh... I contributed! <laughs> that was a fantastic, uh... Fantastic strategic plan. I contributed! <laughs> Man. Minorly. <laughs> imagine... I'm sure we won't have to imagine it because one of our commenters will write about it. But imagine the hell that is going on. on oh, the ground by right the way, now. guys, those those like RP comments, yeah. are sick. We we love those. Like we yeah. we pour over those. Like share them as a household. Yeah, it, it's it's. We I love would... people writing AAR fiction about our <laughs> let's play. To, to be blunt, guys, I worked yeah. a sixty-eight hour week this last week. Yeah, and. I, I specifically recall Thursday, that was the highlight of my day. Yeah. <laughs> On my lunch break, reading that stuff. That, thank you very much. From the bottom of my heart, it really helps. It really means a lot. Absolutely. Man, we are just in such an awful supply situation that we can barely advance anymore. Yeah. Well, we're blobbing out onto the step. <laughs> How many German lives have gone to defeating the Syndicalist threat so far? 3.2 million. That's a lot. In this game, that's a lot. Yeah. Historically, the Germans were north of 8 million in both conflicts, but EU yeah. doesn't give, or HOI doesn't give you a manpower like yeah. that. Yeah, well, and it's, we're, it's not 1948 yet, so... <laughs> 
Actually, I think we can continue playing past 48. It's just a soft end date. Hopefully, we'll have wrapped up our... We will have. The, uh, American it's 43, dude. It's 43, almost 44. We will have. Yeah. Dude, where is the... The British Navy and the British Convoy Force has to be done. They just have to well, be done. Let's see. Done. We have an unread naval battle here. It's a victory. Uh, yeah, it's a victory. We have a bunch of successful convoy raids. We're also at 300. So, so I think it's bugged. That's really unfortunate, by the way. That is really unfortunate if, if that's the case. Um, let's see. Electronics, we are already pretty far ahead in. Um, I would fill out the military command. Yeah, so let's see. Com is there anything with defense. amphibious, uh, an amphibious let's see. bonus? Hands or defense. I'm looking at our experts. Artillery attack. That's not bad. Armor division attack. That's not bad. Is also not bad. Uh, infantry division defense. We're not on the defensive anymore. It still matters, but it's not as as useful. Cavalry and motorized. Um, Don't need it. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe artillery? Yeah, why not? We do use a lot of artillery. Let's see if that does anything to the... I mean, we're already winning, but we're going to be winning more now. Artillery matters in the winter. Oh, yeah. Like the ability to bludgeon lines, shake yep. up snow. Oh, we're so damn close. And the Finns can fight in winter. That is another thing to keep in mind. They're they're handy. Go, Rommel, go! Rommel, Rommel, Rommel. We're gonna unite. We don't have any cities left. <laughs> We're gonna unite a border with Mongolia here shortly. Yes. God, what a massive country the Soviet Union is, yes. though. Oh my goodness. Also, a reason it would have been really dumb to fight Japan is if we have to fight the U.S. Navy and the Japanese Navy, That's we're gonna problem. be in trouble. Yeah. We would like them to be fighting each other if possible. <laughs> Notice we haven't gotten an indication of peace between the Pacific and the Syndicalists, though. The Pacific no. states are holding They're on, holding out, which we want. I hope they hold as, as long as they possibly can. Uh, I would do so. I would get just get the MPs, man. It's going to take, like, what, 40 days? Oh, no, too long. Too yeah. long. Let's, let's get some recon. Recon, absolutely. Oh, come on, Rommel. We, this come ends, on, this Rommel. ends the war. I'm convinced. I'm pretty sure it will. I don't know what other cities they have that could possibly work, be worth enough victory points for them to not capitulate. Here come Rommel's Panzers. Oh. Oh, Hero of the Veldkrieg has died. And Frieden. Frieden. Was he one of our ministers? Um, no. <coughs> The last defense. They got some reinforcements into the city. Be, uh, that would be epic and heroic if they actually managed to stop Rommel's assault. They're gonna. Wow. So in December, right before Christmas, uh, Soviet reinforcements showed up and they held Archangelsk. That is... Um, uh, but it was for naught. Yeah. Um... Because we're still going to be in possession of the city by New Year's, it looks like. <laughs> that is a big Ukraine right there. Good for them. They've been amazing allies. I'm serious. Like, Yeah. All right. So we're now attacking from this flank. God, look at He's them going fight. back and forth. Uh, Mikhail uh, Tukhachevsky is commanding the defense, but He's yeah, also he ran their, out of guys. Yeah. He's also their feared field marshal. He, so. he ran out of guys. They They're gone. No more reinforcements. There's no more help coming for Archangels. I told you the New more... Year's Eve. German forces march into Archangels. And that should that the Soviet the Union. New Year's the New Year's Day surrender. Yeah. The Soviet Union has capitulated. Wilhelm III has announced that the cowardly Soviet nation could no longer withstand pressure from the overwhelming presence of German forces throughout the country. The Soviet government chose to flee the country and has gone into exile. Their main forces have capitulated, and the German Empire is now in control of their home area. Though the war against what remains of the Third International continues elsewhere, this is a great victory for all of Middle Europa. Oh, you're damn which right. Which also Look. now includes the Finns and Arkea. the Soviet Union. So, uh, yeah. 
That is, uh, that's our faction right there. <laughs> we could totally invade the shit out of Japan if we wanted to. Um, by the way, we also now have Pacific ports, which is awesome. Um, so let's look at our factory and supply situation because... Hawaii is independent. <laughs> well, and the Pacific, the Pacific states are about to capitulate. Check this out. This yeah. is almost over. Yeah. This is almost over. If they over. lose San Francisco, Los Angeles, and Sacramento, they're probably done. Um, Seattle isn't a major enough city, neither is Portland. Yeah. Just bleed the syndicates as much as you can. All right. So now let's go back and look at our industry. Yes. Because um, um, we are depleted. We're repairing a lot of factories. Um, we have, yeah, a lot of factories damaged right now. Um, we are building... A shitload of everything. We're no longer losing much of it, though, so our supply yeah. situation should our turn around. Our infantry equipment situation will be fixed in within a, a week. Um, everything else we're gonna need. We might it actually might be worth killing another infantry equipment. Let's line. let it. Let's let it go till. I like, mean, we only need four hundred more. Yeah, let's let let's <laughs> let it go just a little bit. Build that stockpile. Okay. We'll need it. And I'm having fun, so I vote we keep going. Yeah, um, so now we no longer need this Coastal Defense Force under modal, so we'll re-merge them back into the Great Army. And send it back. And we will uh, delete all of their orders. Oh, they don't have any orders because the Soviets capitulate. Oh, are they still fighting some resistance pockets or something? It would appear so. Oh yeah, the Soviet Navy is going to get banished. So the Finns are on our side. That's great. Um, Garrison, we'll just go ahead and put them back where we had them. As we prepare. Yeah. Let's end this. I think Britain is going to fold, like, well iron laundry, to be honest <laughs> with you. Uh, yeah. Let's After see. the punishment we've dispensed. Yeah. I would have to agree there. Strategic redeployment. Order. How is our Air Force doing? Can our manpower cover a little bit, too? Is that possible? It or? goes back up very slowly over time. Um, but generally, you have to pass better conscription laws to get... So we're going to need to. I don't know how much of a priority that is, as opposed to filling out our cabinet and our contracts. Yeah. Um, we might want to do it before we invade Britain. I don't know. If, we, if we're if we surgical about it, we might not need any more I don't think the this. stability increase is going to fire, so we could actually do it very soon if we wanted to. Yeah. Um, it might actually be worth, um, before we invade Britain... Uh, oh, yeah, Rommel. <laughs> we almost left him in the fucking tundra. Uh, we'll have you hang out in Paris. You can just... Drink some nice, uh, nice wine. French wine and uh, peruse the uh, famous red light district. Uh, let's see. Garrison area. All right. Yeah. Get your... Uh, yeah, <laughs> they're, uh, they're hopping on the first train out of there. That's, Experimental rockets. I like it. Might as well continue along to rocket engines. We'll eventually unlock rocket-powered aircraft, which is something we could use to bomb the shit out of Britain if need be. And also potentially <laughs> launch attacks across uh, across the Atlantic. I, I'm, they Oops. might not have that much range, but they do have That'd be nice range. if they do, though. Yeah. We could really use that. Do they have carrier variants of jet fighters in this game? They do not have carrier variants, unfortunately, but... Uh, yeah, we'll need every advantage we can get. We now have a research resource shortage for some reason. Uh, one unit of oil. Oh no, woe is us. Um, trade, Romania. Give us the rest of your oil. <laughs> is it not getting to us? I don't know. Oh, there we go. How have we not starved this nation out? I mean, I think we basically are. Let's let's see what intel we have on them. So they have between oh 76, 111 divisions, 49 to 56 factories. We have 314 for comparison. They're done, dude. Yeah. They have a lot of planes. Um, Their convoys are yeah, depleting rapidly, though. They have way fewer convoys than us. 
these guys just repairing good. All right, well, um, we need to get our industry back on track, which we are doing. Um, we need to change our occupation of the Soviet Union. Too gentle. Too gentle, yeah. The Russians are probably eager to be free from the communists, just like the French are. Yeah. I'm not worried. As long as our occupation is gentle, we well, stay and just. Most of the population centers, the Ukraine is worrying about that. So, Oh, pff. the Soviet Union still has one province with nothing in it <laughs> up here. Yeah. All right, so we have nuclear reactors. We're about one year away from being able to develop the bomb. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Can we get... Yes! yes. We can get... Uh, Improved infantry equipment three and then improved night vision and then we have the most sophisticated <laughs> fighting force in yes. the world By we already do to be blunt. Oh, yeah, but probably by a wide margin um, All of these Belgians that we conscripted by the way they are now part of this army. Yep Right. Oh No, that's gonna reassign Rommel's guys. I guess so. We'll leave that for now. All right, I'd say um, you could probably reorganize some of the factories now. Kill a line of infantry equipment. Okay, yeah. Let's go ahead and kill a line of that. And then let's uh, prep these to increase capacity. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Repairs are well underway for all of our damaged military factories. Which we need, yes. so... The United Baltic Duchy and White Ruthenia gained some extra land, so good for them. Finland, uh, unfortunately, did not. They joined the war too late. <laughs> Sorry, Rose. Yeah. You're safe, though, which is what you wanted. Soviet well, aggression is now a non-factor. When, when we actually sit down with the Internationale to figure out a peace, we can maybe... Give yeah, Finland let Archangel them and something. such. Yeah. Conscripting more ships that are above our tech level. God. Sinking lots of convoys. Yeah, they're just they're just not they're they not can't even find us <laughs> like <laughs> We're remedying our supply situation currently. Yes, um, we're gonna probably aim for a summer invasion of the Brits Honestly, why are we still losing in these categories if we have a positive balance? That's what I'm wondering about but it's changing. Yeah It is changing How are our factories doing as far as repairing? Because man alive, hurry up. Yeah, it's it's taken a while. but uh, Oh yeah, we, we've got 300 political power, so we can yeah. recruit another minister. Uh, I would almost do, like, do some companies. There's some brilliant companies here. Yeah, like, military look at factory construction speed. That's definitely, definitely. leading. Uh, Only need to hire experts. Soft attack plus 16% for Mauser. Holy shit. We'll do that. We should have gotten that a long time ago. We'll do that next. That would have... The, the war with France would have been over a lot faster. We'll do that next, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Let's see. We still have naval superiority yes, everywhere. Yes, flexible lines. Yes. So our, our production efficiency retention when we switch over a production line to a newer model of something will... Help, we're ahead of time on that. Get some better motorized, get some better special forces. This is mechanized, so we'd have to make new divisions for this. Oh. I would upgrade our existing support companies first, probably. Yeah. Engineers are great. Better engineers, definitely. We're about to have the landing craft we need. Yes. You could bump it up another speed if you want, just while we're getting oh, we're, this. We're oh, we're on five, yeah. Yeah, we, we're mainly waiting for these to be fixed. <laughs> Because that's yeah. important. Because <laughs> uh, then this should be green across the board when we hit that point. Well, we had a big surplus of medium tanks and don't anymore. Oh, by the way, we've got our first Marine Division and uh, they're training up to regular status. Yes, of course. Of course, finally. Increase in stability. That should Explo skyrocket our industry. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, All the yes. You gotta think the war in America is gonna end shortly. 
Yes. Good stability. I think we can, we can still get up to very good, can we? Yeah. So we'll try to maintain. Yes. Can we get the next level? Yes, advanced landing craft. This is going to... We, so we, we can't invade Britain until that's researched. Yeah. That's going to be absolutely decisive. Can we add another line of Marines? We can. We can safely add another line of Marines. What are these guys waiting on? They Not are waiting on a medium tank. Okay, so we finally blew through our uh, stockpile of medium <laughs> well, tanks. Well, we conquered the Soviet Union. Yeah. That's, that's how that <laughs> happened. Yeah. How many tanks did we literally lose to the mud? Yeah, quite a few. Oh, we also upgraded a bunch of uh, Panzer divisions. 1944 is probably going to be a slow year, y'all, but hopefully yeah. you find our commentary entertaining. Let's um, see. So this is us just going berserk, oh, upgrading everything. 15 centimeter Canona 18. Do it. This is us just making our army a modern yeah. <laughs> marvel. And then we're going to finish it. We're going to yeah. neutralize America, neutralize Spain, neutralize Britain. And that'll yeah. probably be One, the two, extent three, of this yeah. game. Honestly. Holding at the Sierras. Which would will be a hard place to take. Yeah. Also, though, it's indicative of how much the combined syndicalist states are hurting. Oh, yeah. they they The fact that they are being halted by terrain shows that their army is probably all but ravaged by this conflict that they've been involved in. Oh, yeah. This invasion is not going to be hard. Um, the logistics of it are something to worry about. But By the way, Japan's starting to kick some ass. <laughs> well, if, if the, Rep the Republic of China kicked some ass, so yeah. if they're forced to handle Japan, they're maybe they can. They're market, market liberals. liberals, so they're, uh, yeah, apparently kind of democratic, sort of. 